everyone and welcome to Nico's Kitchen's Budget Meals. Today's recipe we're going to be making bacon and cheese croquettes. Now the ingredients only cost me $7.15, it serves four, so per portion it's only going to cost you $1.80. So let's get started. He's got budget meals Monday, what you want Wednesday, fast food Friday, what else could he share? It's Nico's Kitchen where satisfying meals are prepared. So guys, the first thing that we're going to do to get started on our cheese and bacon croquettes, just into a non-stick pan, just a small one, I'm going to be putting in and cooking some bacon that I've just roughly chopped up. So you don't need to add any oil to this guys because we want the bacon to be nice and crispy, not so much oily. So that's what I'm after. You can just see those small bits there that are just starting to crisp on the outside. So we'll just take them off the heat, leave them in the pan, and then we can get on with the rest of the dish. Now what I love about this recipe guys is the fact that we're using some mashed potato and it's leftover mashed potato. Now of course, if you don't have any leftover mashed potato, you would obviously need to have some. But this is a great dish for those times where you've got some leftover, you don't know what to do with it, and instead of throwing it away, this is a great dish or a great option to save the leftover mash. So with our mashed potato in the bowl, a few ingredients I'm gonna be adding in. The first one is a egg yolk. I don't want the egg white, just the egg yolk, and just add that straight in. I'm also gonna be adding in some spring onion or some scallions that I've just finally chopped up. Of course, we're gonna be adding in our bacon that we cooked off just before. And lastly, I'm gonna be adding in just some plain flour. Now, just give that a good mix around and get all those ingredients combined together. So once we've given it a good mix through, just grab a spoon and make sure your hands are nice and clean. And what I want you to do is rub the potato mash just into balls like that. And just keep repeating that process with all the mash that you have. So once we've rolled up our potato mash into balls, what I'm gonna do now is I've cut some cheddar cheese, is just push it straight into the middle, just like that. And then if it changes the shape, just reshape it in your hands, just like that. So what we're gonna do next with our croquettes, guys, is we're gonna be coating them in a breadcrumb mixture. And of course, we've got a breading station, so we've got our flour, our egg wash, and some dried breadcrumbs. So what we wanna do, just grab one of our balls, just coat it in some flour in the egg wash, and then we're gonna roll it in the breadcrumbs. So that's what we're after, and just keep repeating that process. So we're gonna start cooking our cheese and bacon croquettes. So just into a pan on a low to medium heat, I'm gonna be adding in some olive oil. And then I'm gonna be placing our balls just straight in. Now all we wanna do with this guys is brown them on the outside. Now that should only take about three minutes. Just keep watching them, make sure they don't burn. So that's what we're after guys, this beautiful nice golden brown on the outside. So this is done, turn the heat off, take them out, and then we'll plate these bad boys up. So there you have it guys, there's my quick and easy and best of all cheap bacon and cheese croquettes, or bacon and cheese balls, if you want to call them that. It smells wonderful, and I've just served it up with a mixed salad. So let's get stuck into one of these bad boys. Oh yeah, that crust and that softness on the inside. Let's get stuck in. Mm. Mm. It is so tasty. I mean, you can't go wrong with potato mash bacon and cheese, can you? As always, the ingredients are below, so check it out. You guys take care, and I'll see you this Wednesday for What You Want Wednesday, so make sure you get your recipe requests into my Twitter or Facebook page. You guys take care, and I'll see you then. Mm -hmm.